What is up guys, today we have a review of the newest update for Galaxy S23 Ultra and for many other uh, Samsung phones uh, with that supports uh, Galaxy AI or uh, Samsung AI and the version is One UI version 6.1, Android 14 and here we have the full name of this uh, firmware update and the size is around 3 GB, which is quite a huge update. So as you see the list of changes, it's really huge. So it's bring to us really a lot. And the security patch level is for now the 1st of August. Now it's almost end of September, so it will be more logically to put this in September, but that's okay. And when we click the log here, let's, let me connect to Wi-Fi. Actually, it doesn't work. As you see, the log here disappeared, so before it was uh, same, let's refresh again, so it was uh, actually same level of the security patch that was released, so logically it should be newer, and before it's only security updates came, and it's the biggest update since um, March 2024, so around half a year passed, and finally we have something new. So let's check it out, what's the new here, so firstly Galaxy AI, let's move, okay I will disable Wi-Fi, let's move to Galaxy AI here, so we have it in a special um, separate uh, uh, type for it, so we just open it and we see what we have here, let's go one by one, advanced intelligence here, call assist, so currently you can get real time translation, it was actually available before as well, so you can select out of languages that are available here and actually other person language can be selected as well. The voice here, two type of voice, speech rate can be selected, uh, language and voice presets for each person can be selected. Live translate and other apps also available here as you see the increased amount of supported apps that's available for live translation. Now it's WhatsApp, Google Meet, WeChat, Messenger, Telegram, Instagram, I think Zoom shall be supported as well. Nice to have it and more AI features. Let's move on. What else we have? Chat assistant. So currently also improved. You have the chat translation here. Language to show original translated. Manage the apps again. Uh, increasing the apps all the time. At least trying. Languages packs that you can download. Also enlarging all the time. And um, let's move on. Live translation of spoken conversations here available at voice or text output here. So you can use your Galaxy phone as a live translator with also not that many but enough languages available as for now but again they're expanding. So voice style can be selected for uh, each separate language. Auto record where microphone is on can be enabled, tap to talk as well. So actually those advanced intelligence is working actually now on the device. Uh, what else indicate what you can do? I will just cover all of those and try to open the apps and check. You can uh, create unique portraits. Uh, actually, using AI, it will be generated. Uh, let your phone do the writing for you. So you can, uh, when you need to write something, email, media post, you can start by giving Samsung keyboard, new composer, a short request or a snippet or text and let Google AI do the rest. Actually, I use Google Keyboard, but maybe it will force me to go with a Galaxy Keyboard. Let's see. I will maybe try it out. Uh, translate calls and more apps. As I mentioned already, translate images, text on web pages. But you need to use Samsung Internet here. I don't really use it, so it's not really useful for me. Translate and listening mode, as I showed already before. Turn voice recording into notes. Also, similar feature you have on iPhones, translate and summarize PDFs. It's actually quite convenient. Here in the original format to PDF, so note assistance. Let's check it out. Auto detect languages in voice recorder, edit voice recording transcripts. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's open what we have. Okay, what I've got here is, uh, where is this? Where is this app? Notes. Here we have notes app. Let's create a new note. Okay, you can draw here. Let's try to draw. Okay, I think we need we need our pencil to draw. 
and you have AI, so what is doing for you? Not smarter, not harder. Out of format, summarize, spell check and translate the text. Transcribe and summarize recording. Decorate notes with the AI generated covers and images. Okay, nice. Uh, sketch to image, check your network. Okay, need the internet. Let's connect to the internet. Click sketch to image. Let's see what it will show me. Okay, we should select, can sketch with highlight drawing. Okay, this drawing is not so good. So let's try to draw something. Uh, let's uh, change it and draw a person. Okay, let's make a nose, ears, some hair, like this. So can it transform? Sketch to images. Generate, bringing your drawing to life. Okay, fine turning with RTC player. Let's see how AI works. Okay, actually looks no bad. Uh, you can, I think, select different version. It looks really nice. Wow, works, great. Uh, what else? Let's, mm, let's close it, delete. Let's change to the text format. Let's type something. Hi there. Please prepare more advanced text for the biological, biology class. Let's type it like this. Okay, let's try what we have from AI here. Okay, AI, correct spelling, show corrections. Per, uh, okay, we can so suggest here class original. Okay, dot. All right, nice, works. Now let's try something else. Summarize. Generate summary. Okay, summary should be a bigger text. Um, lens out format. Translate. Generate translation to Indonesian. Works perfectly nice. Okay, summary I will not use, but I, I guess it works fine. So quite nice features to have. And uh, let's move on with voice recorder. Check out what's new here. Automatically create text transcript of recording complete with uh, labels for each speaker. Nice. Summarize recordings. Nice. Translate and compare. See translation of your transcript and summarize side by side with originals. Okay, let's try it out. Uh, hi there, my name is Tim and we are working together on this video regarding new AI features for Galaxy S23 Ultra. Okay, let's stop it, save. Okay, transcribe. Let's see how it works. Let's, okay, two speakers, but it's only me. Okay, works, trans summary. See, summary of your recording transcript is too short. Okay, I think it should work. As we see, translation works perfectly. You can select any languages from your preset, hide speaker labels, remove transcript, add to Samsung notes. So actually it also works well. Uh, let's move back to our changes here. So we already ch checked some of them. All the others you can check by yourself. I really recommend to update in case you have this possibility here and try it out. Uh, create epic images. The second one, bring photos to life with live effects. You can quickly save and share instant slow-mo clips. Create fun animated stickers and gifts. It's better to say don't make it clickable. It's much better if you click on it, you go to this feature and just do it. Clip just what you need. Touch and hold a person or object in any photo to clip it. Okay, actually it was working before uh, in Google Photos. Let's try to make a photo of something. For instance, this thing here, charger, Apple charger from my MacBook. Okay, let's make a photo, open it using Galaxy. Okay, I open it up. Let's try some magic. What we have here, 
sketch image okay let's keep it okay it's just sketch okay you should select click generate let's see what it will do can generate with this content okay let's try to to select something else generate okay let's try something else here what we have so okay this is can enlarge your photo it was available before actually this is quite nice feature to have it's just adding the pieces here that are missing as you see here just enlarge it so works fine i guess discard uh what else we have a editor here so sketch to image or okay only two features available i don't know why it's do uh, okay let's move back why it's promoting something else let's see maybe it's another app here bring photos to life with life effects so apply any cinematic effects to people and animal in your photo all right i don't have people and animal let's try to find the internet select this guy let's see what it can do with the person here let's click Okay, sketch the image. Let's try to do a sketch. Generate. Draw small object. Okay. Let's draw the face. Try it out. Whether it will work, can generate due to location of drawing. Okay, let's try like this. In my case, as you see, it doesn't work. It's providing some other features, but I cannot find them. Maybe here draw sticker okay you have some sticker presets you can add create so you can create the sticker from image okay next okay cartoon outline done okay you can do the sticker here from the person also this option available before on android now or iphone and now you can do it on android so basically just nice to have so you can face effect here, you can object erase. Let's try this thing. So some just more advanced features here to make your modify your photos. Okay, let's move on. What else we have here? Uh, something for your health. So monitor energy level with Galaxy Eye. Get more detailed sleep analysis, make your own workout routine, connect cycling power meters. Okay, don't use it. More productive action for uh, suggested action for smart select. So when you select something on your screen with smart select, you will now get suggested action. Smart select, how it works. Like this, I guess. No, just a circle to search. Okay, smart select here. You can quickly call phone number, locate addresses, case images and more. Smart Select now can be accessed in the uh, App Edge panel. I don't use this App Edge panel here. Uh, you select something on your screen with Smart Select, you will now get suggested action. It has a small to window experience, actually this I already tried. Okay, I added Edge panel here, so I guess this one is Smart Select. Even here you can just make a drawing, wow generating transforming image okay nice okay this one is more select i guess tap to draw to select for instance this one add to note you can save it what else edit or pin and uh, yeah it has some suggestions now actually i didn't really use this feature but it's really convenient to have it Okay, you can just select something and copy the text or add to notes. Wow, amazing. This works well. Also, you have some other preset apps here in the app, in, the, in this edge, but up to you what to add. It works. Okay, let's move on. What else we have here? This we already covered. Enhanced multi-window experience. Actually, this I already tried. Look how convenient it is to use multi-window. You can just tap on it and you can select where to drop it. Quite convenient. Drop it like this. Also, here we have actually similar options as available before. 
Okay, just open it. Okay, and this works well as well. Here is nothing else new, just more convenient to launch it, but works well. Um, easier, uh, easier file copying moving in my files, create file shortcuts. Okay, we will not cover all of it, but believe me, it's improvement all the time. Mark important this in your calendar quickly and not yeah, okay, I use it before. Automatic your watch with modes and routines. Also use it sleep mode, see it in addition to watch faces, do not disturb mode. You can also use routine to, uh, uh, routines to control this watch action. Okay, more messages filter option when you create a routine and start your receiving. Okay. Even more improvements, skim sort video quickly, design and share your profile card. Uh, names and pictures with Galaxy users can see you call them or when they view your contact information. Answer calls with a tap instead of swipe. Actually, this uh, appeared. I will just show you now. Wait a second. So open the settings of my phone app. And now you have uh, uh, this option called display. You can select, keep call in pop up. Uh, call information, call background, uh, call alert and ringtones here. Uh, actually, you can select many options. Let's find play tone when call ends. Okay, this is a need. Answering and in calls, other call settings. Swipe to call or text. So this is quite convenient to swipe to call or text here. I don't know whether it was available before, but now it's available. Uh, supplementary services, okay, don't need it. Text as uh, is smart assistant, caller information. We have gesture to answer calls, swipe or tap. So by default, it's swipe. I activate it with a tap. Uh, you can also use a speaker to answer as well. So it's quite convenient. They adding just some additional feature, which is quite nice to have. Also using the speaker, so here it's hands-free calls, get uh, frequent weather updates, I don't use it. Um, extra strong security, you can now set auto blocker to apply minimum restriction to get highest level protection against malware security threats. Enhance assistant menu. So actually as you see majority of changes related to Galaxy AI and just some minor changes related to others. I guess after iPhone presentations, they added some several features, but as for others, I will not even cover it. It's, I think, pretty much same. Uh, not much changes here. Everything works smoothly. Latest update just bring many AI features. So that's pretty much it. I really recommend to update to this version and it will bring you more features so it works well stably and battery life is same so basically this is pretty much it for the review and still have some questions just leave it in the comments below put the thumbs up and see you next time